I said in Parliament, I was actually quite surprised to hear the Minister's answer, uh, because all throughout this year we've been hearing from the previous Minister that both the residential and the daycare centre were within months of being opening, and the last I heard from the previous Minister was sometime in the autumn. Um, only yesterday then we hear from the new Minister that in fact in respect of the residential centre, which has 54 beds, and the government had previously announced it was going to be handed over in November 2015, more than a year ago, that that hasn't been handed over by the contractor yet, which is, is kind of a bit like building the rail tracks for the railway, not having the engine, and the engine not the tracks, in the sense that the daycare centre was handed over with no service provider, and yet we have the service provider for the, day, for the residential, but the building's not ready. But surely, whenever there's a developer or a contractor involved, these things always take a, a little bit longer than you plan for them to take. There's always some slippage. Well, yes and no. And yes, of course, these things happen, but you usually factor it into the timeline for the project. And no, in the sense in the private sector, no one in the private sector will allow a contractor to go one year over the deadline without suffering some kind of penalty. At the end of the day, you know, if projects need to be completed, especially this type of project, which is something that the community needs and actually affects people's lives. Whenever you bring up the subject of the opening of the dementia centre, uh, the argument put to you by the government is that this wouldn't have taken so long if the GSD had got its plans right in the first place. Well, that is obviously a matter of opinion, and we will obviously opine differently. However, they cannot deny they've had five years to get this centre opened, and five years have gone by and it's still not open. I don't think it takes five years. I mean, sure, they haven't demolished the building, all they needed, if there was going to be anything, was alteration. So I would welcome a, a statement from the government to explain what it is that is causing the contractors so much delays. I mean, have they found asbestos in the building? What is it that's causing this kind of delay? And of course, the way they manage the project is nonsensical. They have one side, the building for the daycare centre ready, but no provider. On the other side, they have a provider but no building. I mean, surely in any part of the world, questions would be asked.